District 7 All-Star Basketball Day. This year, games at Napoleon. Again, the ladies, Division 4 against Division 3. Toledo Christians, Kaylana Butler off of the hot start, gets the rebound and put back. D4 builds an early lead late in the first half. Division 3 down by 5. But Liberty centers Alicia Gisagi crashing the boards. D3 down 22-21 at the break. In the second half, the Division 4 state runners up Toledo Christian. Sparking the team, Butler to Jordan Rosales. Eyes it flies at three is good. Six point lead, D4 wins 46-45. Butler, the go-ahead points at the free throw line. Her 10 led all scorers. Honestly, it was so much fun playing with the girls that I've been playing with all year long. To do it one more one last time was, honestly, uh, it was fun. Same format for the guys. Stritch well represented on the D3 team. Christian Burton the steal, and then Lobs it for teammate Breon Hicks. Not textbook, but still an athletic play. D3 leading by four. Montpelier's Garrett Waltz on the right track all afternoon. The locomotive with a three-pointer. He had a nice game, but in the end, Division Three sharpshooters too much to overcome. Delta's Bryce Gillum making the D4 team pay. D3 wins by 10. With more on the small school all-stars, we welcome in Tim Clagg and Corey Slovak. Seniors putting on the jerseys one final time for the District 7 All-Star Game inside the Grand Canyon tonight. It was a familiar sight. Toledo Christian seniors stepping up. Kaylana Butler with the game stealing free throws in the final minute secured the win for her team. They sure did. The TC girls coming off that state final run really came out, played well tonight. That was a very competitive game, came right down to the wire. Dare we say we even thought maybe overtime in an All-Star Game. So that was a fun one to watch to get the day started. Rosales, Butler, and Wensink combined to score 19 of their team's 47 points. On the boys' side, well, it was a frantic pace, style of play, and the threes were coming every five seconds, it seemed. Well, we had some high-flying action, and we had some three-ball splashes, and that game was one where the scoring got going. Once the guys sort of settled in and got hot, that was fun to watch, especially some of the snipers that we saw today. One of them being Bryce Gillen from Delta, six threes, MVP, 20 points in all. He was phenomenal. How about on the D4 side? Garrett Walls got yeah. off to that start in the first half where he could have shot the thing from the parking lot that was probably going in. Walls and Gillen combined for 11 made threes as the seniors' careers finally come to a close.